how to get your Hive thermostat working after you've installed it. First of all, before you do anything, make sure you've wired the receiver correctly. Turn on the power. Don't turn on the boiler yet. No batteries in the thermostat. All we're testing firstly is the receiver. So the boiler's turned on. And we've got an amber light flashing on the receiver, which is correct. But we just want to override and put the heating on. I have made a little mistake here because what I should have done was put that switch there into the on position. So I'm going to turn the receiver off and start again. Any timers or clocks on the front of your boiler or you know whether you've got summer mode or winter mode, everything has to be turned on. So it's got to be in winter mode. It's got to be um, in the on position. And then it just gets left in the on position because the thermostat will control the boiler's heating. So let's try again. Override using the receiver. And be patient. Some boilers can take quite a long time, especially older models and you start pressing buttons thinking it's not working so just just give it give it time and be patient and there you go you can hear the boiler fire up in heating mode we've got the green light on and we're happy with that so we've wired it up correctly so we now we're going to just check that it turns off as well but again just be patient Give it a few, well, not a few minutes, but potentially a few minutes, but definitely a few uh, seconds. Um, the green light's flashing, getting ready to turn off. And there we go, we just heard it. Yeah, so the, the green light's gone out, the amber light's flashing, and the, the heating is off. Right. Let's look at the instructions. Once the hub has finished downloading the latest software update, it should go into pairing mode and flash amber. When you see this, pop the batches into the thermostat and put into pairing mode. Right. The hub, it, the, sorry, the receiver is flashing amber. However, the customer downloaded the app and plugged this in last night and it's actually got a got a green light on so you probably think well let's unplug it and re-plug it back in but no we've just still got a green light and before we put the batteries in the thermostat we want amber on the receiver and on this hub. So what we've done, we've gone into the app and we've clicked on find thermostat. So we've now got a amber light on the receiver and on the hub. So we're gonna get the batteries put in. So before we put the batteries in, you need an amber light on the receiver at the boiler and on the hub at the router. So battery's in now and it will start to search for the two devices. And again, just be patient, just let it do what it needs to do. And there we go. That's what we want and it's ready to, to be used.